Now, my pearl milk tea is here. You can see I got the large. It's actually called the medium. And you can see the little tapioca or pearls here at the bottom. I usually just get plain milk tea, but I'm here, so I'm gonna try the original. It's got some blended ice at the top, and let's try it. Wow, it is so good. It is wonderful. Do you want to come? And we also got some snacks. Thank you. We also got some snacks to go with the tea. Oh, thank you. Now let's try the pearls at the bottom. Mmm. I usually never get them because they are too big. But these are smaller and they're really chewy. I think these are the brown sugar tapioca balls. But the tea, it's worth it. Now this is a weekday. It is 10.30 in the morning, 10.30 a.m. This place is so busy, I had to make a reservation on a weekday at 10.30 a.m. so you can tell it's popular. There are other locations around the city, but this is the original location. So I've tried the tea, we've ordered some food as well that they recommend to try with their tea. So let's wait for our food to come and we'll try that next. So we've got our pearl milk tea. Now some of the famous dishes that they recommend you order with your milk tea are these pork noodles, it's called Hong Kong Kung Fu noodle and it's got some bean sprouts in it and these are little taro balls with a sweet custard inside. This is a thick toast, like a Texas toast, with a thin layer of peanut butter and then they grill it. And these are the shao mai, kind of like wonton, so we have shrimp and pork. 
and these are the spicy wontons in spicy chili oil. So there's a large menu here, but they suggested these are the famous items that people choose to go with their tea. So I'm going to try these and I'll let you know how they are. So I finished my milk tea. The food was amazing. The taro balls, the spicy wontons, the noodles, the little dim sum, the peanut butter toast, all of it was delicious. You can see I've got all these balls, little pearls at the bottom to finish. Let's go explore around the cafe. There's lots of cool things to look at. Okay, if you're here in the original location, they have this kind of information section. When was Pearl Milk Tea invented? And you lift this up and it says 1987. Next, where was it invented? At the original store, Chun Shui Tang in Taichung. Who was the inventor of Pearl Milk Tea? It was Shui Shui Lin, product development VP of Chun Shui Tang, famous for her sensitive palate. Why added pearls to the milk tea? Why did you add the little tapioca balls? Chun Shui Lin one time cooked some tapioca ball pearls in the store. At first she ate them hot, but later decided to try them cold. Pearls are chewy and not sticky. Lynn decided to put them in iced milk tea and iced lemon black tea, two of the best selling products. Pearl Mint Tea was the store manager's secret. Lynn secretly sold iced milk tea and iced lemon black tea with pearls for a week in 1987. She finally showed them to the owner after great feedback from customers. Why the name Pearl Milk Tea? Chun Shui Tan decided to call the tapioca ball pearls and hence the name Pearl Milk Tea. How did Pearl Milk Tea gain its popularity worldwide? Since its introduction, Pearl Milk Tea became a top selling product within six months. Customers liked how they could drink and chew at the same time. In 1990, someone tried to take some permanent tea from Taichung to Canada but was stopped by customs at the airport. This incident only boosted the fame of pearl milk tea. What is pearl milk tea called in other countries? It's been called bubble tea, boba tea, pearl milk tea, and tapioca tea in other countries. Pearl milk tea is one drink that is popular across so many countries just like Coca-Cola, but better. Why do Cheng Shui Tan use smaller tapioca balls? The smaller black tapioca ball is what was used when the product was first introduced and Cheng Shui Tan wants to stick to the original recipe to preserve the classic taste. How many cups of pearl milk tea do people in Taiwan drink a year? If we put all the numbers of all the stores in Taiwan, people in Taiwan drink about 100 million cups of pearl milk tea. And if you stack all of them, it equals 1,700 1, Himalayan mountains and 250 times the distance between Earth and outer space. Now, up above me, you can see some more facts about milk tea. Thank you.
Okay, I'm now downstairs, and you can see behind me, this is the founder's favorite corner. So when he was in this tea shop, they would always sit at this table, and they had the sink here to dump the tea. If you know about making tea, you have the hot tea, you heat up your cup, and then you dump it out. So this is the founder's favorite corner here. So if you come to this original location, you can sit upstairs and you can sit downstairs as well. Okay, I've tried the milk tea, I've tried the food here at Chun Shui Tan. If you like milk tea, bubble tea, pearl tea, whatever you want to call it, and you're in Taiwan, come to Taichung City. This is the original shop of Chun Shui Tang, the original home of Pearl Milk Tea. Lives up to the hype, everything was wonderful, the staff is great, loved it, a great experience. Part of my things I love about Taiwan, so good, milk tea. See you on the next episode.